hello guys welcome to the current series of JMeter tutorial for beginners so in this video we are going to learn about chrome developer tools so let us just quickly start chrome or you can use edge browser as well the latest edge browser is based on chrome so you no need to worry about that the edge is different and chrome is different right so over here what we would be doing is before going to any website we would be opening developer tools the shortcut is F12 key on your keyboard once this is open what you have to do is that you just move, need to move to the network tab here choose the all options choose the option preserve log and make sure that it is showing stop recording network log okay if it is red this means that is it is already recording right now over here what you have to do is that let me just keep it on this particular part right now there are few things that we we're going to do and what we are going to do is we'll be opening a page for example I'm going to rediff.com right so I requested rediff.com immediately a series of requests got generated right and if we scroll to the top of the page you would notice that there is a request named as www.rediff.com it is previewing as the content as well now what we have to do is that let me just maximize the screen as this is the page that we want go to headers and you would notice that this is the request right now there are a lot of things for example the request URL the request method the status code the remote address the referer policy right how would you be able to understand these things and what what things do you need right so over here we have a lot of content now let us just see what content do we need and at what particular point of time do we need that right so let me just make the text a little bit bigger so that you guys can read it more clearly right I'm uh, using a shortcut control and I'm just scrolling up in my mouse okay so now over here we have this data there is a request URL there is a request method right and there is some text written over here in the remote address there are three major things that we need and out of these three major things we need something very specifically that is this particular part right let me just highlight it in a box so that you guys can read it more clearly right say this particular part right this particular part this particular part and this particular part right now there are few things what are the things which are interrelated so there are two things which are interrelated first thing is this right second thing is this whenever we have a protocol right whenever we have HTTPS 443 is the default port whenever it is HTTP then AT is the default port whenever it is FTP then 22 is the default port so there are different different ports now whenever whenever there is a different port being used for example there is not a default port use how would you be able to understand that thing right can you do something so that you can understand actually yes see uh, over here it is written let me just write the same URL again right so it is written HTTPS right www.rediff.com then forward slash but in case if the default port is changed then you would be seeing something information like this that is say one two three right then forward slash this means that the website is not hosted on the default port it is hosted on this particular port right this means that all the requests made to this particular website would be listened on this particular port right now this is about the main page right you can use this information in gmeter and you can simply replicate the request now the next thing is coming back to the page now what if I went to money I'll click over here again a series of requests got generated 
now what i need to do is that i just need to look for that request where i'm requesting money right now there are a lot of requests let me just make a size little smaller yeah this is okay right and it might be the request no it is not the request that we need again it is also not the request that we need see you need to go through all the requests see, there are there are a lot of requests right now what if you are not able to go, uh, say understand which request you need there are a lot of requests simply do one thing choose the option doc now there would be a lesser number of requests you can see right this is the main request then there is some container request in the same way there is some runner request right the page is index.html right the only url difference is now this is this time it is money.redif.com right go back and look for index.html only right index.html index.html and you can see that this is the request that we have got right we need to be very careful while generating requests now how we can manage this thing so that we don't get confused in a lot of requests right this is very important now you can uh, see uh, you can see this request generated over here i'll come back to this, these kind of requests in some time let us do one thing let us just flush out everything using this button now i have flushed out everything now if i click on something for example if i click on my portfolio right i've clicked on that my portfolio link and if you go to the developer tools you would notice that there is a direct request portfolio login i don't need to look for this request now just by doing one thing flushing out the older results right now coming to the request part if you notice something the request is a bit longer this time right there is some few other things involved let us just discuss about those things right how we can deal with such information right now over here we have three different sets of data actually first one is this say this https just a second yeah https second part is this portfolio.redf.com and the third part is portfolio login right there are three different things right let me just underline everything so over here first part second part third part right the color is yellow you won't be able to see it so let me just make the color blue yeah first part second part and third part right now what are these things let me just jot down these things this is protocol this is server name right and this is path okay so you have got three different things now you can provide these things directly inside jmeter and you can work with it right now the next thing is the other type of request method that is post method right now by default we, we are getting the get method right i'll flush out everything once again i'll put on some dummy data so say dummy and i'll click on continue the moment i click on continue you would notice that there is a little bit request getting generated but i'm not able to see anything again go back to all now over here in the validate request you would notice that there is some data right now again there are few things okay the path is not this much portfolio login now the path has been increased to the validate part okay the path is complete this time make sure that you are also providing the request method right in the jmeter and whenever there is a request method post this means that there is some data involved as well if you notice something on the bottom of the screen there is some data validate email and email id this 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 right 
So how would you be able to replicate this data? Simply copy this data and provide that data inside JMeter in such a way so that you can provide the parameters. Okay. So how would you be able to do that? Let us just open JMeter. So over here in JMeter, what I was talking about, let me just add a thread group and a request. Now here you need to provide those parameters, right? What are those parameters? These are the parameters, validate email and email id redfmail.com. Now th is there any way so that we can simply copy paste them? Actually yes, click on view source, copy all the data and go to JMeter, delete everything first, add from clipboard, everything would be added automatically. Now this has been added. Now coming back to the request, you will notice that there was some data. Let us just replicate the whole data now. HTTPS, this needs to be provided here in the protocol. Then this particular part, excluding the slashes. Okay, copy this. So this is the server name and URL. Now coming back to this, now again exclude the first forward slash but include everything after that. Copy this and paste it here. Right, port number 443, which is the default port number for protocol HTTPS. Right, this request is complete or not? It is incomplete yet because we have not set the request method. Now, after selecting post, the request is complete and you can start working with the request. Right, so this is how you can make use of Chrome developer tools to generate the requests manually. The benefit is that you understand how the data is going around and how the data is being used right so this was for this video thank you and you can watch the other videos in the series you can see this series we have a whole list of series made up for this uh, uh, say understanding jmeter and if you have any queries you can simply scroll down and you can put your comments or you can put your questions over here so that we can answer them thank you